It is part three of our assault on the cloister of Somber Embrace. We've uh, resurrected Karlak, and so she no longer has the resistance to necrotic damage or the hero's feast effect, but everybody else has had a short rest only. And the goal here is to try to kill Lyconia before she recovers her hit points because she only had five hit points when we had to leave here last time. Now, unfortunately, nobody has any more invisibility potions, so that could be a major problem. In fact, it might be so much of a problem that I think I might actually send Tavi out to go buy some more before I do anything else. Do I have enough money to do that, though? Oh, yeah. Yeah, tons of money. 1950 gold combined. Um, yeah, I'm gonna send Tavi out to buy some more invisibility potions. Well, unfortunately, even though I unlinked the party and only sent Tavi out, the whole group went. I guess because we moved to a different map. Oh well. You know, this arrow of arcane interference looks like it would be really useful break your target's concentration and silence it. But the problem is, since we're surrounded by darkness, there's no way I could target anybody to hit them with that arrow. So this is pretty useless, I think, in this situation at least. Uh, unfortunately, Stylin Horst only has one more potion of invisibility. You know, I'm just noticing Tavi has a ring that lets her cast invisibility. Gale has a ring that lets him cast invisibility. If I move these rings around, three of us would have invisibility capability, and then I just need one potion. Huh. Alright, we're back outside the cloister, ready to attack. Here goes nothing. Entering the secret stairway. And we start sneaking. Have to keep going. So our goal is to kill Viconia. That's really the main goal that we have here. She was invisible last we saw her, or didn't see her. Also, I bought another uh, smoke powder bomb. <laughs> I'm going to start by throwing this smoke powder bomb. Try to hit. Uh, I'm going to hit Sharon, the Herald, or Guide. Good idea, I think. We can use Luck of the Far Realms to change it into a critical hit. Let's do that. Kaboom! Damage has been done! Combat commences. Viconia Devere has still has five hit points left and she is running towards us. So that is target number one. Tavi is going to cast... Um... A vicious mockery on Vi... No, wow. 9% chance. No. No thank you. Dissonant whispers? 
9% chance, no thanks. Plain crossbow attack? Nope, that has disadvantage. Do we have any... What about a scroll? Do I have a scroll that does AoE damage? Because this would be a great time to use that. Um, let's look through our scrolls. Blight? No. Blink? No. Blur? No. Dark vision? No, no, da, da. Dimension door disintegrate. Everett's Black Tentacles. Turning the area into difficult terrain. Attacking and smothering creatures within for 10 turns. Um, I'm looking for something that'll do a little bit more minimum damage. To do hold person gust of wind magic missiles they can probably resist that ray of frost leet storm wall of fire Tavi's gonna cast a wall of fire right across here right on top of Viconia oh target is blocked why is target blocked well 100% there we go nothing happened why didn't anything happen Okay, that was disappointing. Try again. Yes! I think Viconia was just knocked out. Viconia succeeded on the save, was hit for 12 damage. Viconia was hit for three damage. One, two, two. Then a bunch of psychic damage. What the hell? So Viconia is dead, but apparently we can still have a an interaction with her. I guess that's what I'm assuming there. Okay, good deal. And then uh, Tavi is gonna move back. One day I'll catch a break. To try to maintain concentration on that. Okay, just this years. Moving forward, the worst of the worst. Those just this years. Shadow Heart is up. Shadow Heart. Uh, what kind of damaging spells do we have? Level 4. Yeah, not much, really. <laughs> not, not a lot. What about a silence? Just gonna do silence down there. Try to keep him from casting darkness. Until Gale's turn. Where's Gale? Gale doesn't have a turn yet. Alright, they're all silenced. Gale... Uh, Shadowheart's gonna move back. And Gale... Gale's not in combat yet, even. Can we... Gale and Karlak aren't in combat yet. Can we get him to cast... A fireball down there from his staff. Uh, the cr 
cru Justicier Crusader made their save. Tavi's going to use Cutting Words to make him fail. And that's a bunch of damage to them down there. The Guide and the Herald are almost dead. So we got to focus on those two. Soldier. Karlak also has not attacked yet. Karlak is going to see if she can hit the guide with advantage. Um, and she's going to use an arrow of roaring thunder. Or a barbed arrow, maybe, or an arrow of ice. No, we're going to use the barbed arrow. Or a tar arrow of many targets. No, barbed arrow on the Sharon Fidelian Guide. Eat it! That is a hit for four damage. And they're baned. And they're burning. <laughs> And they're on fire. And we're going to do a second attack. Just with a plain arrow. Wait. Can we not do a second attack? I don't think we can do a second attack. Shadowheart is up. Okay, weird. Shadowheart's gonna move back some more. On the move. Gale should have moved back some more. Boom! More explosions. <coughs> Tavi's doing extra psychic damage. One of them's rushing right up into our face. Shadow stepping. More explosions happening down there. Tavi's doing more psychic damage somehow. I don't know how she's doing that psychic damage, but I don't mind. It's Cull the Weak, apparently. Okay, Gale is up, but he doesn't have an action right now. Sharon Fidelian Lamona is there. I don't like that. Gale's gonna move back. Swiftly now. Carlac has another action. She is just gonna wail on Sharon Fidelian Lamona. That's a hit for 16 damage. Only 11 hit points left. Then we're gonna do a wild magic rage. Are we gonna be able to stand our ground against the relentless darkness assault? Teleport again! Again, I'm so excited I get teleport, but I probably will forget to use it ever. More fire damage to the people down there. A crusader runs through. Justicier tries to hit Gale with overwhelming grief. We're not going to counter that. Oh, he's got Call of the Dark Lady on him now. Alright, Tavi has a turn. Tavi is going to do an Otto's Irresistible Dance on the Justicier Crusader Night Mist. Yeah, he's he's irresistibly dancing. Yes. Yes. Take that, Justicier. With her bonus action, she's going to give a bardic inspiration to Carlac. Because she's probably going to be doing some swinging pretty soon. Swinging of the axe, that is. So we want to target Lamona and Sentry Hendley. Those are the two most wounded ones right now. Here comes another Justiciar dashing up. The Wall of Fire seems to have dropped. 
Um, they're casting Overwhelming Grief. Again, Tavi's gonna... They're not gonna react. Alright. Their shadow stepping. The Gloom Mask runs up and hits Karlak. We're not gonna change our Rage effect. Karlak gets an opportunity attack as the Gloom Mask steps away. But she missed, I think. Yes, she missed. Oh, there's a weird lag there. All right. Shadowheart is concentrating on silence. Uh, I think she's going to cast another silence over top of Karlak here. Is that going to drop the auto's irresistible dance? No, it wouldn't do that. Surely not. And then that's it. That's all she can do. And step back a bit. Alright. Then we have Hendley and then Karlak. Hendley blew up. Whoa, what happened? Hen Shar and Sentry Hendley's mind collapsed from psychic damage. From four psychic damage? Took four fire and four psychic. Okay, I don't know what is what Tabby's doing, but it's working pretty well. Okay, now Karlak is up. Karlak's gonna swing at Fidelian Lamona. That is a hit and a kill. And then I think we want to work on the Gloom Mask, because they have a lot of darkness stuff that they can do. That is a hit. I would have liked to use that Executioner thing. What if we use Teleport? Let's use Wild Magic Teleport to go all the way down here to the Novice. All the way down here in front of the Novice. <laughs> One can't always be a gentleman. Okay, Gale has a free shot with an AoE attack. Um, on three of these guys. Do we do Fireball? Do we do Ice Storm? Whatever we do, it's gonna be at level six. Yeah, I think it's... Or Chain Lightning? Chain Lightning. That's what we're doing. Oh boy. Here we go. Chain Lightning. I hope it doesn't drop that auto's irresistible dance. Let me just check that. Affected enemy. Can't move or take actions. Attack rolls against it. Have advantage while it's attacking. It doesn't say it drops if you attack it. So... Chain Lightning, here we go. Boom. Holy hell. That was a lot of damage on one of those Justiciers. <laughs> Not too much on... Only 52 on one, but it was like... 111... Plus two... On the Justicier Crusader Night Mist. No, those are two different people. Okay, never mind. <laughs> it's 52 and 59 damage. And 44. Wow, there's a lot of damage, is what I'm saying. There's a lot of damage. And Gale moves back. 
or should we stay up there so they don't move? Because they're going to move out of that silence. On my way. That's fine. This one's coming down to attack. Carlac cast Beckoning Darkness on her and then blinds her with silence. Darkness, I mean. Uh, Carlac takes a hit from the novice. Somebody goes into umbral form. Otto's irresistible dancer goes into umbral form. Which means what, exactly? The affected entity... Immune to non-magical damage and can make an additional melee attack per turn. It cannot cast spells while in this form. Okay, that's good to know. Good time to do another AoE attack there. Um, let's check our scrolls. We got a lot of good scrolls. Well, we have some good scrolls. Not so great for AoE attacks. Um... Let's try Everett's Black Tentacles. Are we... We're already concentrating on what? What are we concentrating on? We're already concentrating on Otto's Irresistible Dance. Ooh, that was close. I almost ruined that. How about a Dissonant Whispers? It's gonna hit. What about one of our... Concentrated Blast, no. How about Psionic Overload? No. How about... Man, how about that black hole? It's be a good time for that. Um, mind blast is a conical effect. Tavi's gonna run down can carry me. and do a mind blast on all three of these guys there. Feel the power of the illithid. And we're going to use cutting words to make him fail. Boom. One Justicier Crusader is down. One is stunned. Sharon Fidelian Gloom Mask is 15 points away from death. And then Tavi moves back. Justicier stunned. The Gloom Mask runs back at Carlac. Cast Beckoning Darkness. Uh, we're not going to react to that. I think we got this fight won now. I am finally feeling confident about this fight now. Finally. Okay, Shadowheart is up. Shadowheart is going to do... Um, let's see... How about a plain old firebolt on a Justice Here Crusader? 14 damage. Not great, but it's a little bit. Put him up. Carlac is next. Um, Carlac would love to run out of this blindness. No surrender. <laughs> Takes a whoa, takes 24 points of damage from an attack of opportunity from the novice. And we're gonna run up out of the blindness and hit this Fidelian Gloom Mask and kill him. And then we're gonna come over and hit this Fidelian Utter Mask for 24 points of damage, breaking concentration and breaking the darkness spell. Nice. And then I think we're going to use our wild magic teleport. We didn't forget. We're going to teleport right up next to the Justicier. So we can hit him as he leaves. If he leaves. 
No gloom, all doom. Gale is up. Gale's gonna do a fire bolt as well. Because we are running low on spell slots now. That is a hit for 20 points of damage on the Justicier. The biggest threat left on the battlefield, as far as I'm concerned. Here comes the Utter Mask, casting Beckoning Darkness on Karlak. Tavi is going to counterspell that. I think. Yes. Instead, it runs up and hits Karlak with a staff for 12 points of damage. And Karlak is not going to react, because I would rather hit the Justicier as it runs away. The novice runs into the silence field. Tavi is up. Tavi has a turn. Tavi... What kind of psionic shenanigans can we do now? Stage fright? I don't think we need the black hole right now. Fracture Psyche? Eh, it seems lame. Um... Could just shoot him. Actually, I like the stage fright. <laughs> I really like that skill. That's a really good skill. Stage fright. We're gonna cast stage fright on the Justice Here Crusader and everybody else. Well, there's only, it only hits two of them, but that's good enough. And then we're going to move away. The Justice here dashes. Karlak gets her opportunity attack. Hits for 17 damage. It's dashing past Gale and goes into Umbral form. Karlak, for some reason, takes 10 necrotic damage. I don't know why. Maybe one of those beckoning darknesses. Uh... Oh, he's gonna try to shove us off, isn't he? No, we can't have that. Um... Yeah, he's gonna try to shove us off into the... into the chasm, so we gotta get out of here for that. Um... Um, Shadowheart's going to do Inflict Wounds at second level. 31 damage. He's got 16 hit points left, and then we're going to run back. Take an attack of opportunity. Tavi does cutting words. And he misses. Awesome. Um, that's the end of Shadowheart's turn. Kale. Karlak. Kale. <laughs> Kale. That would have been a great name. Kale. Uh, Karlak is going to... Start whacking on the Sh Sharon Fidelian Utter Mask. One hit for 24 damage. Second attack hits for 27 damage. They got 21 hit points left. That's the end of Karlak's turn. Gale. I don't fancy their chances. Gale. Gale weirdly can run away without taking an attack of opportunity. Oh, because they already used their attack. So, yeah, Gale's Step running step. away. <laughs> Gale doesn't want to get shoved off that cliff either. And then we'll do a fire bolt on the umbral form of the Justicier Crusader, Al Talon. 
It's a critical hit and it burns up that Justicier. The Justiciers are gone. We are winning this fight. Karlak takes a hit. Unfortunately, the guy loses stage fright. The novice gets up, attacks Karlak, but misses. Tavi has a turn now. Tavi is going to just shoot a regular shot at the novice with a crossbow. Actually, she's going to do a vicious mockery. Which we all got just you. Oh, they made their save. Disappointing. Concentrate. Karlak is going to... I mean, Shadowheart is going to attack the Sharon Novice. Garrigan, the last one. That's a miss. Ready for another round. Okay, Karlak's going to finish off the Utter Mask. One attack. Hits and kills him in one shot. Second attack going after the Novice. 24 points of damage. He's half dead already. Are you sure you want to stay here, soldier? You sure you want to be a novice in this Sharon cult? Allow me to demonstrate. Gale does a firebolt on the novice. Killing him. And we leveled up. Level 12. Level 12. Yeah. Amazing. It fun? took three different assaults <laughs> on this cloister of somber embrace. Three different tries. But we finally did it. I've got a long road ahead. I'm assuming nobody is left down in the actual room. And uh, I think the uh, the corpse that we could have potentially talked to has been disintegrated. <laughs> so I don't think we can talk to them anymore. Um, okay, let's start looting the bodies, I guess. Oh, there's a key. A silver key. And a simple robe. I don't think we're allowed to have this stuff, though. What's inside? Oh, the Justicier doesn't have anything. Bet the novice doesn't have anything, because they're a novice. Just some leather armor and a mace. The Utter Mask doesn't have anything. The Gloom Mask doesn't have anything. Very austere gear that these folks have. Sharon Sentry Hendley has an Iron Banded Shield. And some Ringmail Armor. Viconia Devere, the Mother Superior, dead at last. Viconia's personal chest key. We'll take that. Viconia's walking fortress shield. Rebuke of the Mighty. When a foe hits you with a melee attack, you can use your reaction, dealing it 2 to 8 force damage and knock it prone. Unless they succeed on a dexterity saving throw. Spell guard. You gain advantage on saving throws against spells. Spell attack rolls against you have disadvantage. Wow. Yeah, I think we're giving that to Shadowheart. And she's going back to a, a one-handed shield <laughs> situation. Viconia's Priestess Robe has a bunch of stuff. The Handmaiden's Mace set the wearer's strength to 18. The enchantment has no effect if their strength score is higher without it. 
I think that's going to uh, Shadowheart too. I think we might just be taking her weapon set as a prize. That actually sounds like a, a pretty nice combo. It's not cursed, I hope. What are we losing from the spear? Moonbeam and moon moat. And advantage on wisdom saves. Yeah, these seem better though. The mace actually does more damage than the spear anyway. Sorry, Saloon. Oh, now it's dark. All right, what now? <laughs> Daylight spell's not working anymore. Oh, we missed uh, the Sharon Fidelian guide. These boots have seen everything. Anybody else? There's another novice down here by the door. Do we really need to check all of these things? I'm sure they don't have anything useful in them. As soon as I say that, I found a note on the Shara Novice Blue Nail. You were right, ma'am. What they ask of you as a novice in the cloister, it's just... My heart isn't hard enough to do these things. I had to run out of last ten days interrogation class to vomit. But now that I'm in, I don't see any way to get out again. Not alive, anyway. I don't even know yet how I'm going to get this letter to you. I'm scared. And the way the Mother Superior looks at me, I think she knows it. Oh, how I wish I'd listened to you. You're Dimbert. Though here, they've dubbed me Blue Nail. Oh, no. Well, maybe we can find somebody to give that note to. My daylight spell is still in effect down here. More corpses to loot. Oh, here's another note. Note to self with bloodstains. Tuesday's inspection was a disaster. How could I have overlooked the stains on my tunic? Must ask Harold where they get that special soap that takes dried blood out of fabric. All right, I think I looted all the bodies. What else is in here? I have to find my parents. I must be close. Uh, one thing that's in here is another sentry, Friedrich. What are you doing, Friedrich? And I didn't even get a long rest. I didn't know you were here, Friedrich. One attack. Two attacks. He's shadow stepping away and casting Bone Chill on Gale. Yeah, we're not going to stop that. Come back, you coward. Have a fire bolt for 18 damage. Need to stay focused. Have another fire bolt for 42 damage and a critical hit. Incinerating that Not guy. He's the guy that opened the door for us. Oh, he's got a key. He's got a key to the lost training hall. How nice. So we need to find her parents somewhere around here. That looks like it could be there. There's a door. That looks like it might be a door. There's the library. So, which way do we go? Oh, lies before me. You know, I should do a short rest before I do anything else. 
case we run into any more enemies out here. Oh, there's a door. That's an armory door. Libraries. Okay, a lot of crimes of the Moon Maiden. A big list. Is this a door? That is a threshold of loss. Door. That's a dormitory door. Okay. Where are the parents, though? Is there going to be more fighting to get through? Let's see. You gotta be kidding me. Okay, well, they're not... This one's not hostile. Nocturne is not hostile. What's up for discussion? Shadowheart? I wasn't sure if I'd ever lay eyes on you again. It's me, Nocturne. Do you remember? Remind me? We... we trained together. We used to be close. I'm glad to see you're all right. I don't remember you. Oh. A pity. Perhaps we can talk some more later? That is, if you're not about to turn on me. It seems you no longer walk in the Dark Lady's shadow. I'll say nothing. Shah condemned me. By her decree, you and I are enemies. Only if you wish us to be. You may not remember, but we shared a lot together once. Good times. Hard times. I will not turn on you, even if it angers Lady Shah. That's good enough for me. I'm not sure what I expected coming back to this place. Certainly not a friend. There must be all sorts you can tell me. Things I can't even remember. There are. But with the Mother Superior gone, I don't know if I can stay here to reminisce. Perhaps there's another enclave out there for me. You don't need Shah. You don't, perhaps. Not everyone is as brave. I'll leave come tomorrow. Come see me before then. I was working as quartermaster. I can sell you some things to aid you. And we can catch up. Oh. Do you have potions? <laughs> Invisibility potions, maybe? They were friends once, eh? I see how it is. Greetings. Do you seek to trade? As Shadowheart's friend, I'll extend the privilege to you as well. Scrolls. Crawler mucus. Diluted oil of sharpness, battle mage's power, radiant resistance, malice, oil of bane. Potion of superior healing. Yeah, we always have to buy all healing potions whenever we find them no matter how much it costs. Um, scrolls, look. Do I have the Greater Invisibility spell? I'm not sure that I do. I'm gonna buy this Scroll of Greater Invisibility. Am I? Wait, no, I'm not going to do that. Be sure to get everything you need. Come tomorrow, I'll be gone. Well, how am I supposed to know what I need? Does Gale from Waterdeep. have greater invisibility already? I don't think so. Yeah, I think I want to buy that scroll of greater invisibility while I'm here. No one back home will ever believe this. What do you seek? Wares. I seek wares. Greater invisibility. Thank you. Be sure to get everything you need. I did. I have a lot on my mind. And, well, in it. Light on my feet. 
So I'm guessing it must be through the door back here. The parents must be back through this door. Gonna quick save in case we start another huge battle. It's locked, but we have a key, right? Yeah. We used a silver key. Wow, it's a huge area. Sure he moved something on the altar. What was that? The disc rose up after you moved something on the altar. Hallowleaf and Arnell Hallowleaf. Hello? It can't be. Another vile trick. No. There is no trick. It's her. Jennifer. Jen. A little girl. Moon Maiden's Grace. It is you. I'm here to get you out of here. They're all gone. It's over. where my power resided. Every time you try to step away from me, every time you try to reach for Saluna, my hold on you bites deeper. If you had learned, if you had obeyed, there would be no pain. But you struggle on. You will make things worse for yourself and for them. Oh man, I have to make this decision? Uh, uh, ignore her, Shadowheart. She's just trying to spite your victory. Victory? Your victory is but a guttering candle in the dark. Temporary. Inconsequential. Taking my parents away from here. I'm taking them away from you. You cannot. We are still bound to you. You cannot both free us and free yourself from her curse. The Moon Maiden needs you more than she needs us. You are the future. You must return to the fold. We are the past. And our duty is almost done. Eloquently put. His mind stood up well to his time here. The same cannot be said for your mother. Such brief, fragile lives humans lead. This is my final lesson. I leave you now to dwell on your mistakes and make your choice. Shah's parting words make your flesh crawl. There is no lesson to be learned here, only a family's torment, a spiteful goddess's whims, and an unspeakable choice to be made. She's gone. I, do, I don't understand. Shah will never admit defeat. Not until she has stolen one last thing from you. We cannot allow your future to be her last prize. Not after all your mother and I have endured to see you again. Your companion understands, I think. Help her, please. Help her see what must be done. Hmm. I 
think you should talk to your mother and father and see what they wish. I'm... I'm sorry. I didn't know any of this was happening until it was much too late. I came to try to put things right. And you did. You found us. All these years, that dream kept us going. That you would break free. No matter what they made you do to us, we knew you were still in there. I knew the Dark Woods wouldn't frighten you. You were always such a brave girl. She was. And still is. You've saved us. Now save yourself. You'll be out of Shah's reach, and we'll be at peace. But I only just found you again after all this time. I can't lose you again. We'll still be with you. By the Moon Maiden's grace, we'll never be far. Please, Jennifer. This is your choice, Shadowheart. You don't need me to tell you what's right. Whoa, the recording just went crazy there for a second. This is your choice, Shadowheart. You don't need me to tell you what's right. Is this truly what you want? It is what we need. All of us. You were meant to be a guiding light for Saluna's faithful, but they robbed you from us. Now that can be righted, and we can rest. Help us, Jan. I can let go. Now I've seen your face again. Goodbye. Not goodbye. Not even close. Moonmotes. They bring Saluna's light to dark places and offer guidance to those in need. My parents are watching over me. Let's leave this place. There's nothing more for me here. One thing, though, what should I call you now? Shadowheart? Genevel? Shadowheart, still. I can't run away from who I was all this time. Besides, there's something fitting to it. I can't cast a shadow without some light. Hmm. Well, that was depressing. Weird that they, <laughs> they just, they, they make really weird choices about what they show and what they don't show in this game. They just, they didn't show Shadowheart murdering her parents for some reason. It was like they just cut it out of the game. My parents. I saw them. Spoke to them. And let them go. It's... It's more than I can take in just now. Give me a night to try and get my head together. I mean, you're the one that wanted to talk. <laughs> I wasn't going to talk to you, but then you're like... You had an exclamation point over your head. What do we do with the rest of this stuff? I'm not sure what to do. Are we meant to continue exploring this place? I don't really know. It feels like we're done here, though. And it feels like we should go back to camp and level up. That's kind of what it feels like to me. Maybe we'll explore some more after we camp. But I think for now, probably next time I will, I will camp and uh, then we'll uh, take a long rest, and then we'll resume doing something. I'm not sure what. We finally got through the, uh, the House of Grief, 
at long last. <laughs>